I had a choir teacher when I was, goodness, the school I went to, I think we were in choir from like preschool <laughs> all the way up, so until seventh grade. And the one I remember, her name was Mrs. Sims, and we were always, I was always in the choir class. I loved it. I was an alto, soprano. I did both. Um, but she was always just really encouraging, just like, you know, use your voice, just let it out it's okay because I was always nervous when I was younger because my voice was so loud and I was just like I'm gonna scare people you know with my voice instead of making them excited so um, I just remember when I saw Christina Aguilera and you know heard Whitney and I heard Mariah and I was just like they have big voices like me I'm not I'm not so crazy um, I remember that just being one of those moments where I was like okay it's okay to have a big voice and for me Music education is so important, not just because music is fun to listen to. It's fun to do, it's fun to be a part of, it's fun to dance to. It's just a fun thing to have. But because there are a lot of kids who don't have the outlet of, you know, being an, an athlete or being a mathlete or, um, you know, doing home ec or something like that. They don't have that. That's not their thing. There are a lot of kids who their outlet is music and to be able to do that as an extracurricular activity or to have that even as a class in school, for me, I don't know where I would be if I didn't have that choir class and be able to just do that and have that outlet. Um, it's so important because what if they take those out, they take those classes out and they're like the first ones to go and then you have all of those kids who don't really know what to do, don't really know what to do with their time after school. And you know, sometimes having too much time leads into going down the wrong path. So I feel like it's just so important for the kids today. And I feel like I don't think I would be where I am if I didn't have those classes.